Hey, welcome to another Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Uh, tonight's going to be the uh, second part of our SEO series regarding um, page titles and, and keywords. So tonight we're going to look at uh, some H1 tags, what's an H, what is an H1 tag, H2 tag, and then how to implement that into your website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at what is an H1 tag. So I got this uh, description from uh, it's tmprod.com. I'll put it on the bottom of the uh, of the screen here. Um, this is actually the first time I've, I found this this page regarding uh, SEO, and it had some pretty interesting stuff as well. Uh, they looked at, like they're uh, actually. Uh, website uh, design company as well. So um, why are H1, H2, and H3 header tags important for SEO? So header tags are important on on-page SEO factor because they're used to communicate to the search engines what your website is about. Uh, these search engines recognize the copy in your header tags as important, as more important than the rest. Um, the start with your H1 works you down to H2, H3, and so on. Um, so on here they, uh, they do talk about um, H4, H5, and H6. I don't think I've ever used that many um, header tags. Uh, sometimes I've just used H1 and H2. Um, if need be, I sometimes go to H3 as well. So H1 tags should contain your targeted keywords, uh, ones that closely relate to the page title and are relevant to your content. So uh, that should be your main keyword for that page. H2 is a subheading and should contain similar keywords to your H1 tag. Uh, it might be a, uh, if you look at it as a hierarchy, uh, if you have your uh, H1 tag, just using my website again as an example of um, videotape to DVD, an H2 tag may actually be uh, VHS to DVD. And then your, H your uh, H3 is then even a subheading of your H2. Again, on my site, I've just used H1 and H2. But on uh, your page, you may want to do something more and add an H3 as well. Uh, think of them as a hierarchy based on importance, the above being more important than the below. Keep in mind that it's also very important that your header tags are readable and grammatically, grammatically correct. Uh, stuffing your H1, H2, and H3 with keywords is not going to help your cause. If anything, Google will recognize this and assume you're trying to manipulate them. So um, Google will actually uh, penalize you for doing that. So do not do that. Okay, so now that we know what a, a H1, H2, H3 tags are, uh, we can look into how to implement that into our website. So we did our keyword researching on our first video. Um, that gave us uh, an idea of what keywords to use. So now we're going to use those in our website. So your heading one, heading two, and heading three, those are your H1, H2, and H3 headings. Um, Google for some, or Wix for some reason makes your heading, your H3 heading larger than the first one, which is usually not how it works, but um, you can always change it. That's not a problem. So our H1 tag, again, should always be our most important keyword. So when you did your keyword researching, um, you may have found a few keywords that were similar. But when you did your research, you found that Google may have ranked one of those a little bit higher when you did your, your search. Um, that is the keyword that you should probably implement in your H1 tag. So in this case, again, we'll just use my, uh, my keywords if you want to look at it that way. So we'll put this as... So maybe we'll use videotape transfer. We'll change it up a little bit. Now, one thing you got to be careful, like I said in the, in the article, don't just keyword stuff. Don't just keyword stuff your your um, your tags. Make sure it's um, reads normally. Make sure it doesn't read as if you're just putting in words. So, um, videotape transfer is the keyword. 
Uh, but in this case, it's fine because it's just basically the title of the uh, the page I may be using. And that's another good way of doing some of your H1 tags, reiterating what you have in your um, in your drop down or in your in your uh, menu. If that is a keyword, use it. That's fine. You're, you're not going to hurt yourself by doing that. Um, so now we have videotape transfer. Now we want to go to my secondary heading of videotape to DVD. And then my last, again, which for some reason Wix makes this larger. Um, VHS to DVD. Okay, so there we are. There's my H1, my H2, and H3. And it, again, it's a hierarchy. So my this page may be regarding videotape transfers. I can break that down into VHS to DVD. Or sorry, um, videotape to DVD and then VHS DVD. You potentially may have more than one H1 and H3, or sorry, H2 and H3 tags on your on your site. Try to limit that if you can, um, but it's okay if it happens. I wouldn't do more than one more than one H1 tag that that may um, confuse some of the search engines. It won't confuse Google. In fact, Google itself has stated they don't necessarily look at your H1, H2, and H3 tags anymore. But we can't just look at Google. We have to look at Yahoo and Bing and everybody else. So um, one kind of neat feature regarding your H1, H2, H3 tags, if you find a design that you like of a text design, um, your font, I'm just going to go funky with this, maybe I like that, and I want to add maybe something around there, so I like that, I like the way that looks, I want to use that for everything, I'm going to save the theme, and what it's going to tell me is that all the H1 heading ones, H1 tags, on my site will now automatically change to that. I can do the same thing for my header 2 tag. Save theme, it's going to give me the same thing. So it's a good way to organize your site on how you want it designed. Design one page. If you like the way it looks, save the theme. Then anytime you, you um, add a new tag, so I'll just, just for example on here, if I add another one here, it's automatically going to have that look. One thing it does not do is it does not give you the effects, so just keep that in mind. The These effects don't follow, so I would just have to change that and I can have my effects. So it will um, keep your font and your font size for each heading, which is a great time saver. A lot of times when I'm designing sites, I will design one page. If I like the way it looks, I save the theme, makes it easy for for the next time. And then again, we're just gonna gonna publish our site. So now you know how to implement your keywords into your uh, header tags on your Wix site. Now, just because we went over H1, H2, and H3 tags does not mean that you only add your keywords into those tags. Make sure to use keywords throughout your site. Use some high ranking keywords that you may not use in your header tags. Make sure you use those throughout your site as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on this video. Shoot me an email, info at wixfundamentals.com. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and share this with all your Wix friends. Have a great night.